Okay, let's go through a quick talk through the uh, the new screen set that we have, which covers UCNC for the ATC machines. Okay, so on the main screen, this is the main screen which you'd be using all the time, and we've got our work coordinates. That's where the machine is. It's got machine coordinates which you won't use, but the machine needs to know them. When we home the machine, you'll see these pop off to zeros. Okay, so when the machine's homed, these are all good to zero. So that's all you need to know. This is your position on the screen, these three here. <clears throat> so we've got, when we start the machine up, uh, first thing we need to do is press reset. Okay, which is down on the right hand side. And you see it flash at the moment if we press that button. <clears throat> um, as I said, you've got the main screen. We have the tool numbers up in the top right hand side. And this covers for up to 10 tools on the tool changer. At the moment, we are, we're only using six, six tools set. All right, so the machine is set for six tools. Let me just show the new screens uh, where it makes it nice and easy to get to things. Oh, so this is a copy of what we've got on the main screen, but up to 20 positions. So we've got one to 10 and then 11 to 20. So if we were using the rotary tool changer, um, it can have 12 positions, 16 positions, or 20 positions maximum. Okay, we've also got a test display. So the button on the left hand side, we have tool changer or test display. All right, so things like this, we can do a brush test. All right, so it's just pop the brush up and down to test it. And we press any of the end buttons are our buttons. We've got ATC repeat, ATC forward. So if we need to pop the ATC forward to do anything on it, we can press this one, ATC back, ATC repeat test, which will, at the moment it's in demo. Um, it's gonna tell me it's failed because the, <coughs> we've got a timeout because there's no air on. Um, obviously, but this is a test machine at the moment. Okay, we've got the halt test and halt resume test on the right hand side. Again, just on buttons. Um, that's only implemented on some machines with light barriers. And then we've got the large diameter tool probe. So um, at the moment it's time the spindle's running because we're connected to a demo machine and it can't see the run signal. If the machine is running, we have a light here. See where it says spindle clockwise? Just above that we have a red bar and that means the spindle is still powered. So if the spindle's powered, we cannot probe. All right, so that's there. We have the uh, tool changer. As I said, we've got positions here. So these are the tool numbers, which are in our CAD. All right, so in VCarve Pro, um, just for instance, a 10 millimeter diameter tool, maybe tool 10, and you might have put it in pocket one. Um, the others are not set at anything specific. 58 is a V-carving tool in my CAD. So that's why it's in pocket four. 55 is actually just a drill. Uh, so 5.5 millimeter drill, so hence I've just numbered it 55. And we've got a six mil end mil in number six. Now, if we populate anything that's not in the tool changer, uh, just imagine I put tool eight here. When you save or reload the tools, you'll see it zeroes it back off. So this one, none of these can be used if the tool changer is only set up for um, six positions. You can't make a mistake and pop the tool in the wrong place or you can't populate it here on the screen in the wrong place. If we want to change this one to tool eight, we pop tool eight into the rack, click on the position, press eight and enter. And now tool eight is in the machine. So if we do select this, this tool, um, the tool length, etc., will be automatically populated for it. I'm gonna change that back to tool six. And I'll put this one as tool eight instead. So I've decided and changed my mind. This is where it's going. I'm not going to be using tool three. And I might need a 12 mil end mil. So I'm going to pop that in position two and then change it on the screen. Now, if I change to a different tool, all I have to do is press one of these buttons. Now it will fail because it's going to check the air supply is on. Okay, but you saw the, the button, um, Select, and when we press the button down, you can see straight away that it fails because no air supply. 
So if you do get that message up, it's because you haven't switched the air on to the machine. All right, so other things we have on the right hand side, we have save tools or reload the tools. Okay, which happens instantly. Um, we've also got, these are manual uh, controls. So these are only if we want to do anything when the machine is not running. So if we want to, for example, load to tool 12, we just click on this and it will load tool 12 for us. I can't do it at the moment because the, um, only because the air is not on. Okay, also over on the right hand side, we have empty spindle. All right, so if we click on this button, it will select tool zero. Again, it's gonna fail because we've got no air on. Uh, we've got spindle warm up, which is, um, it's a six minute warm up cycle for the spindle. And you can see it starts off at 6,000 RPM, does two minutes at that. Then it runs through and does two minutes of 12,000 RPM and then two minutes of 18,000 PM RPM to warm the spindle up correctly. All right, so if I click this again, we just cancel it. We've also got probe all tools button, um, which is on the right hand side here. Now, if we click that, what it will do is we'll probe the whole tool work. So each tool, tool will load in order and then probe. Again, it's gonna fail on the demo and it's gonna tell us it's canceled. Um, <clears throat> Now we've got tool correction. So just for instance, if the tool in the spindle is not reported correctly, which is very, very rare, um, but we can change that. So we can't change it here, but we can type in a tool correction number here. And just for instance, if I'm gonna tell it it's tool eight, I press eight, enter, and then correct the tool, and you'll see the active tool changes to eight. So it's now reporting tool eight is in the spindle, okay? Um, I think that's all you need to know on that section. So we, our normal running is done on the run screen. We normally just home the machine, press the home all button at the bottom. Then we can load our G-code. And we're gonna just pull this one up again. There's a file loaded in. This is what we're gonna be cutting. And all we need to do is press cycle start um, if I do that at the moment, it's telling me that we've got the wrong tool in, so it won't be able to do it because there's nowhere. This would be where it would go and change the tool. And you can see that the old pocket was pocket three, which is tool eight that we had selected. And it's gonna go to the new tool, pocket six for tool six. All right, so T6, MO6 in the code is calling tool six here. All right, at the moment we are switched to tool eight as an active tool. So that would have done a tool change for us. All right, so very, very simple. Oh, we've got the tool changer and we've got the test display. They're the only new additions, um, but it just makes it nice and easy to get to both all off one screen, which is this button here, the, where it says Mercury CNC. So our normal offsets are here and here. So everything we need to do for the tool changer is on these two screens now. Okay, thanks for watching.